All right, ladies. So glad that you could all come tonight. So let's give yourself a big round of applause for being here. Woo! tonight. Thank you so much for representing Mary Kay so well. So we are going to be videotaping our meeting tonight. So I'm so excited to talk to you ladies about so many amazing things. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Are you ready to get started? This music is just like, it's okay. It's my phone here. So anyway, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. And one of the things that we're going to start off talking about tonight is what you would like to have in your Mary Kay business where you would like to be. What are the dreams in your heart? And I want you to imagine that failure and fear and lack of time and things like that are not an option, okay? If they were not an option, where would you be, okay? Sometimes I think that it's our relief level. It's the six inches between our ears is what stops us from moving forward in our Mary Kay business, right? I mean, I know that that has that was always my hurdle and, and you know continues to be just at different levels in this business. So um, we're going to do some fun things tonight. First of all, um, I'm just going to pick on a couple of ladies here tonight. Um, let's see, Rachel and Cassie. Okay. Um, first of all, let's pick on Cassie first. How about that? So um, Cassie, I have questions to ask you and, and Nikki after our success of it tonight because I did save um, your six booking target, but Cassie, if failure and lack of time were, were not an option and fear did not exist, where would you like to be next year in your business? At this time next year? Yes, what position? I would so be a director. Okay, so it sounds like you would be secured in that position and have already been there a while. Yes. Okay, what is the date that you would like to become a director? When do you want to debut? What month? Remember Hollywood is in January. Oh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> we all need those great reminders. <laughs> and uh, what I'm talking about, those, for those of you that are watching us from your computer at home, is uh, we are having, Mary Kay is um, having our 50th anniversary leadership conference in um, Los Angeles, California. So it's going to be in Hollywood. So we're super excited about that. There's going to be so many amazing things really to do and to see there even other than you know going to our Mary Kay events but Mary Kay always treats us like superstars and you know what our national sales directors national sales directors they're like movie stars without the paparazzi so we're gonna have so much fun and the red carpet is gonna have a brand new meaning there so really excited about that so that's leadership conference January 2013 so in order to attend that Last year, DIQs and future directors were able to attend. They're not doing that this year. You have to be an independent sales director to attend. So I'm really excited about that because I think that it'll help everyone stretch to that level. But you know what? We're going to talk tonight about how you can do that in one month. Okay? But we don't want to procrastinate and wait till November to go into <laughs> DIQ or wait till December. But you know what? I want you here with me. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Cassie, what month? I would like to have it done by Christmas. I think that'd be a great way to start 2013 and so December 1st? Chapter. Do you want them done by December 1? Yes. That way I can enjoy the Christmas season. That's good. That's great. <laughs> In fall without any That's right, without as, stress. as much stress. Mm -hmm. How about, where would you like to be next month? What position in your American business? And for those of you watching uh, from home, Maybe it's senior beauty consultant, and that's one or two team members. Maybe it's star team builder with three to four. Maybe it's a team leader position with five to seven. Maybe it's future director um, with eight to ten. Maybe it's DIQ uh, from ten, you know, ten and up. So where do you think that you, what position would you like to be at next month? I would like to be in my red jacket, so okay. three to four. Star team builder. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just going to put S T B. Okay. And so we are going to go ahead and um, Rachel, what are your thoughts about um, next I, next year? I want to so. be a team leader. Okay, that sounds great. So we're going to put 
This is going to be for Rachel. <laughs> C for Cassie. Okay, so we're going to say team leader because we're going to just talk about within the next year. And Cassie, this is directorship. I would like for you both to, since neither one of you are at that position yet, I would like you to um, tell me what qualities that you see in sales directors and in team leaders that you think are important. What characteristics do they have? Let's start with team leader first. So leadership. What? How? Let's break that down a little bit. Okay. Because that's a good one. What type of leadership um, skills do you think? That they would possess. Uh, maybe like being able to like teach classes of other people, other peers. Okay, so they have um, skills, teaching skills. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, they. Well, they obviously they know how to book and recruit. Okay. What else? Um, they're good listeners because they listen to their director and go that path. <laughs> mm. That is great. What else do you see a successful team leader doing? Probably work in our business consistently. Okay. How much consistently? Would you say three appointments a week? Two appointments a week? Two to three, probably. Okay. Two to three. Consistency. Two to three appointments. And probably career talks. A week. What else? Is there any... Um, go to all the events, go to all meetings. That's great. That is really great. Participation is huge. And... Maybe stepping up for things. That's awesome. So, volunteering mm -hmm. to help with things. Oh, and by the way, ladies, you may want to go ahead and get a um, pen and paper out because we're going to be doing a little activity here in just a moment, okay? Okay, so volunteering for different events. That is, that is true leadership, it really is. You know, because you learn um, what the leaders do and how things get organized. What else? What about their appearance? Um, well, they're in their red jacket and they're always, they have groomed, you know, their groomed fingernails and groomed eyebrows. Groomed well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they look slamming. They're a picture of success. That's awesome. I like that. That's great. Okay. Anything else that you can think of right now? All right, Cassie, it's your turn. And we're going to do a different color here, so come on, Cindy. Cassie. <laughs> and Rachel, if you'd like to poke in some too on this too, you're more than welcome to because, um, you know, what, what, do you, what are the characteristics that you see um, a successful director has? I see all the same qualities from a team leader, okay. but probably more in depth because they're um, more practiced at it, I guess. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So maybe their activity level is a little bit higher. Yes. So, 
Would you say that the activity level would be a four plus four plus four instead of a two plus two plus two? Mm -hmm. And what I'm meaning um, for those of you at home, two plus two plus two, that's two appointments a week, $200 in sales, and two career talks a week. Three plus three is the same, you know, it's more. Five plus five is five, five um, selling appointments, $500 in sales, and five career talks. So these are great ways to make sure you're working your business full circle and moving up. Okay, so, so maybe a five plus five plus five. What other characteristics would they have, Cass? They'd be people magnets as far as getting new customers and new team and and being able to kind of lead a unit of people whether they that's really good have that personal connection okay. you know that they sponsored them into the unit or not okay so what is your feeling when how does someone attract you how does someone make you feel welcome how does someone make you feel great about yourself and you want to be in their space what qualities would that be confidence. to you confidence positive attitude that is good i'm not a fast note taker <laughs> <laughs> Confident, positive attitude. What else? A good communicator. Uh -huh. That is good. Willing to go the extra mile. are all really really great qualities and um, when I look at my desire to become a national sales director I think that um, a lot of these qualities you know confidence and being organized and um, helping other people succeed and helping other people see that vision and move up that visionary thing so um, what we're going to do now, we are going to go ahead and I want everyone, um, I want you to all to rank yourself on these, on these different things, but we're going to rank ourselves, okay, in these different areas. So that way you know what you need to do and what you need to focus on to get where you want to go to this position, okay? Now this is how you're going to rank yourself. One is, I don't have it. Five is, I've kind of got it. And 10 is, I got this, okay? This is not an area I need focus on. So um, there's no twos, threes, and fours though. You're either ranking one, five, or 10, okay? No in between. So what I'd like you to do is um, take a moment and go ahead and, and rank your teaching skills Booking, recruiting, listening, consistency with appointments, attending events and meetings, volunteering or stepping up for your unit and you know that I got to tell you all um, while you're you can continue to write these down but that means so much to your leader and when you become a team leader or an independent sales director or national that means the world that just touched my heart when we were finishing up our car I had so many people sending messages how are we doing where are we at what do we need? I am here. I'm like, oh my goodness, that means the world. 
And so when you, when you become a leader and you're leading these people, you will, you will recruit and you will lead the type of people that you are and you'll attract the type of people you are too. So that's really important, I think. So, uh, so you wanna become the type of person you wanna be because that's who you're gonna recruit and that's who you're gonna be working with. So that's really important. Okay, so, um, okay, so volunteering, groomed well, maybe more practiced, people magnets um, with that being personal connection, confidence, good communicator, positive attitude, going the extra mile. So I want you to take a moment and make sure that you rank yourself one, five, or 10 in all of these areas. And just be completely honest with yourself because I think that this is, um, this is something that will help you find out where you need growth. One of the biggest things, if you're brand new or if maybe you have not even um, started focusing on building your team and, and getting power partners to join you in this Mary Kay business, booking is important and you know going ahead and like this recruiting part, you don't have to be a 10 because I will help you and I will, you know, we, you can either do your sharing appointments by yourself if you would be more comfortable doing that, or I can help you out with that. So that's something we can do on a three-way call. We can meet with a group of people doing a career coffee or whatever, but that's how you learn, and that's how that works out. And then once you do get comfortable, then I can be there with you, and I'm not going to be there to criticize you, but maybe to give you some ideas and give you some feedback so you can build these skills. This is a skill-based business. So, therefore, anyone can, anyone can learn skills, right? Anyone can be good at this. All right, so does everyone have, do y'all have your, your list made? You have that? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so if you look at your list right now, and you see, if you see any ones or fives, okay, I wanna uh, point out, these are some of the areas that will get you really building solid foundation. All of these are important. They are all very important. But some of the ones that will really get you going faster than, um, like you can, you can look slamming, but if you're not booking appointments, I can guarantee you that no one is going to be trying our product on. And so I think that that's really important. Okay. Booking. That's big. Events and meetings. That's big. Consistency. They're all very, very, very important, being a good listener. They're all so important, it's really hard to choose. But just thinking back to the time when I started my Mary Kay business, and I was clueless. I didn't know anything, but I did. Um, I did want to be the queen of booking. I did show up at my meetings each week. If I missed a, a Mary Kay success event, it was very rare. And I also learned that being a star consultant was very powerful and very important. Um, because when you're a star, people take you seriously. And you, if you'll make that commitment, you know, you can do anything. So one of the ways that you can be a star consultant this quarter is really focusing on where you need to be by July 15th. Okay, so I mean, if you have two hundred dollars into the company right now, you're on target to be a star. Isn't that exciting? All right, that is very exciting. So um, focus on July fifteenth. Don't focus on September fifteenth because as women, we're like thoroughbreds. We'll wait until September first and say, "Oh my gosh, I have to be a star. It's time to run the race." Well, we don't want to have to do that. We don't want to work out of panic all of the time. So focus on getting 600 wholesale ordered in by the 15th of July, okay? So that way you'll be on target star. You know what, when I was a star consultant at first, I probably didn't sell $3,600 to be an 1800 star. I probably sold about 2000 and took about a $100 profit, but I needed to invest in my inventory because I didn't have any products on my shelf but I was committed to being a star. So I was like, whatever, I'm gonna have to put it all back in because I, I told 
my sales director that I was going to be a star and that's what I'm going to do. So um, it didn't take me long to figure out that I wanted to sell more because I wanted to have more profit. But commit to being a star, that will take you places. Okay, so now that we've done, we've taken care of this part, there's um, the next thing that I want to talk to you about is priorities. Um, when you go to an appointment, sometimes our priorities are this. Sometimes we think, oh my goodness, well the most important thing to come home with from my Mary Kate party is cash, right? It's not. Cash should, I guess, you know, that, that might be your priority. But I have found through the years of working my Mary Kay business that these are my priorities and this is the order in which I put things because I know that the product will sell. This is an amazing product and it's got a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So why not, you know, go to the event, look for some power partners. That's my top priority. When I walk in the door and when I meet the ladies with a smile and a, and a firm handshake, I'm looking for people that I really like, that they're sharp, maybe they have a desire for more. I'm looking for power partners to work with. This is so important because Mary Kay asked us to pass it on. This is not just um, another company that we're dealing with, this is Mary Kay's legacy. And we have a whole culture to protect and we have a future to protect. And so, top priority, you're looking for some power partners at your, at your events or at your, um, at your appointments, okay? My second priority is referrals. Because if you get referrals, you'll always have business. When I was in my Mary Kay business in the beginning, I worked um, through booking and facialing friends, family, and I kind of ran, got to a place where I'm like, who else do I call? Who do I call now? Has anybody ever been there? I've been there. It looks like everybody's been there. Okay, so um, I called my sales director and I said, hey, Lisa, what do I do? I don't have anybody to call. And she said, you don't have any referrals? You didn't get any referrals at your Mary Kay parties? And I said, no, I didn't. She said, guess you won't do that again. So it, it just taught me a lesson that, oh my goodness, that is really important, and I don't ever want to be in this position again. So, I learned to ask for referrals. I think that that's so important. If you do not uh, feel comfortable asking for referrals or playing the name game, that's just another skill to work on, but get good at it, because that way you'll never be out of business. Plus, you'll always have a list of names and numbers to contact for these ladies, when you book them for their follow-up facial, you just look on the back of their profile card and there's already the beginning of her guest list for her follow-up facial or her party, okay? And um, third priority is booking. You've got to book the follow-up facial with everyone there. But what happens if that postpones? Or what if it cancels? What if she's like, I'm not interested? Well, guess what? You already have her guest list because she gave you referrals, right? Because you made that a top, a top priority. So you already know, the, or you already have a list of the people that she knows, so you can go ahead and call them and say, I met your friend Susie the other night, and she had jotted down your name as somebody who she thought really deserved a pampering facial. You know, we'll get together for 45 minutes or an hour, it'll feel great, and you're gonna get a gift certificate on her behalf. What works best for you, Tuesday or Saturday? So you already have her referrals. So number one, looking for power partners. Number two, you're getting referrals. Number three, you're booking the follow-up facial. Number four, sales. You definitely want to sell the product because you want to have reorder business and you want to be taking great care of people. But do not base your success from the number of sales. Okay? I did a, I did a pre-wedding party a while back and I drove 60 plus miles to get there. I did makeup with everyone there, including skincare, complete glamour. And I didn't sell anything. However, after the wedding and everything, I sold like $270 in product and 
have a couple of people started on the skincare. At subsequent appointments, at the follow-up facials, people get excited. So please, if someone doesn't buy anything that day, that doesn't mean they won't ever buy anything. Maybe they didn't have any money. Maybe they don't get paid till next week. Maybe they just want to feel how this feels on their skin. And so you can um, give them a call the next day. Hey, it's Cassie. Um, I just had such a great time meeting you last night. I wanted to give you a call and just thank you for coming last night. How did your skin feel this morning? Oh, it did? Awesome. Oh, yes, I can drop that miracle set off at your office today. <laughs> so a lot of times that you'll, you'll find that that happens, okay? So um, make sure that your priorities are all in line. Okay, next, ladies, um, what I would like to do, who here would like information on how to become an independent sales director in one month? Woo! How are you? That's awesome. Okay, it is, it's very exciting. Um, you know, we used to call people one month wonders. It's not a wonder. It's very, very common and it's very normal. These days we've had so many women that are debuting in one month of, um, you know, going to DIQ and they're just done in one month. And I'm going to show you how, how to um, do that. So anyway, here, I'm going to let you ladies on that. I think that this is um, something really, really important for us to look at because sometimes I think that we think it's very difficult to um, become an independent sales director, but you know what? When you help enough people get what they want, you will get what you want. And right here, um, we're going to talk about how to work, how to do that. Okay, so when you have 10 independent beauty consultants on your team, 10 power partners, that's what we're going to be calling your girlfriends that are um, starting the business with you. When you have 10 power partners, you jot down the name, they have to be active. Okay, so when you have 10, you can go in. I'm going to get closer here, Cassie, is that? I zoomed in. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're Good. fine. <laughs> okay. We have the best videographer in the United States. Okay, just saying. Okay, so step one, get your 10 active team members. And when you are working your Mary Kay business, your independent sales director, moi, I will be helping train your new consultants. That is not your job, okay? That's what I get paid to do. So. Um, all you have to do is bring the people to me and or you know when you share the opportunity with them they get started you can sign them up and I don't know if you all know how to sign up your your girlfriends but if you're at a party all you have to do is go on Mary Kay and touch and go into the business tools tab where it says online agreement and you click on it and it'll take you through there and you can be sit right there with them and sign them up in five minutes you can even do it on your smartphone so you can go ahead and get the starter kit coming. I will get an email that they started, but you can always text me, I'd love to hear. But when I see that email, I'm gonna give them a call immediately and we're gonna start talking about what they wanna do with their Mary Kay business and I'll go over, kind of do like an orientation call with them and welcome them to our unit. So, I will take care of working with them. You, it, your job as a recruiter is just to encourage them to have a relationship with me. If they will build a relationship with me, I will help build their success. I'm not anyone's boss, I'm just the business coach, okay? So um, you get your 10 and then you can go into DIQ and once you're in DIQ, you hold 10 parties and you gold medal. When you hold 10 parties and you have at least one person from every, that's only one person from every other party. Mary Kay said that there's one new consultant at every party. So you could probably double gold medal, but let's just be conservative for a moment. And so you hold 10 parties, and you can definitely do that in one month. Wouldn't you all agree? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's three parties a week, three, six, no, that's not quite. That's not even three parties a week. Isn't that crazy? So, um, it's more like 2.5 parties a week. But remember to book 20 to hold 10.
So when you do that, then you have five additional team members. So you, get, you got your 10 plus your other five, that's 15, right? And you need 24 to debut as an independent sales director. When you have three of these women here, three of these women here are going to be ready to roll. Whether they want to help you move forward or you are just showing them how this is done, you are going to be exciting some people, okay? So we're gonna pick three sparklers to work with and we're gonna focus on getting them into their red jacket, maybe even going on target for their car that month, okay? So your red jacket here, there's, this symbolizes three red jackets and so they would each share the opportunity with women and have build three team members, three power partners each, okay? So three, six, nine. Nine plus five is? Fourteen. Fourteen. Plus ten. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Plus you. Twenty-five. That's right. Magical, isn't it? It's pretty exciting. Uh, but something that I want to, you know, I'm, we talked about being a star consultant. You have to be a star the previous quarter if you want to go, go into DIQ. Okay? So it's important for you to be a star at all times in your Mary Kay business. And don't, don't, don't your customers deserve to be taken care of by a star consultant? <laughs> Isn't that something to be mm -hmm. really proud of? And that's something that you can share with your customers. I, always, I share with my customers, thank you so much. When they say, oh, I love your car, I'm like, thank you. Thank you, because you played a part in that. And when I'm a star consultant, I get on Facebook and say, thank you everyone. Thank you so much for contributing to this because every little bit counts and uh, from, from your customers. So tell your customers it's your goal to be a star consultant and then tell everybody it's your goal to be a team leader or to go into DIQ or to become an independent sales director because you can do anything that you set your mind to. Does this change your outlook a little bit on the, oh my goodness, how is that going to happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It makes it makes a big difference. I've seen with a group um, at Cadillac class that one gal she was in DIQ and one of her ten got so excited about helping her finish that she went into DIQ and finished in one month. Mm -hmm. And now that girl and her three people that she was had excited that, that her three red jackets. All are in DIQ, offspring, offspringing as sales directors. Oh, wow. So she's like future executive, senior. I think that's it. But anyway, you know, with three offspring, and she's been an independent sales director for a couple months. And by the way, she just earned her Cadillac. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. So this is very exciting. So can you get excited about joining me as an independent sales director? Or maybe you can just get excited about earning your red jacket, becoming a team leader. But you know what? You can go out there and if you set your mind to something and if you get excited about it, you're going to be confident about it. And if you're confident about it, people are going to take notice of what you're invested in, in your heart and your mind. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great week.